Today is May 26. We are parked on the very edge of Tam Tam Forest. We have explored and hiked this part of the road. And about two years ago, this place was bustling with activities. Hundreds of people showed up to plant itty bitty little trees. That was our very first tree planting expedition with the Starker Forest. Anyone who is in the area, we definitely recommend you do it at least once because you get this view right here. That's Mary Speak. Right now it's hiding in the clouds, but it's gorgeous at any time. Today we're going to go to the Orange Gate, way in the back there. That is actually Thompson property. We have seen logging operations happening there a year or so ago, and today we want to go and check it out. It's overcast, almost on the chilly side, and most of the area down there should be pretty open. So it's a perfect day for an expedition like this. It appears that some geniuses were using this gate for target practice. The uh, lead ranger is pointing at the bottle broken down on the bottom there, and there are a few others left on the, on the ground as we walked up to here. All this is big open space. Granted, there's probably nobody going to be coming from behind the gate right away. This is still a very bad choice for a target shooting. These are leftovers from the lug-in operation at Thompson. So we'll do our best to pick it up and carry it out to the road. There's another pile and a tire that we're definitely going to have to leave here. We'll drag it out closer to the road so whoever comes through hopefully picks it up and takes it to Le Schwab. Just past a giant pile of trash that we need to pick up right there in the middle of the picture, we found a perfect reward. It's a lovely, thick, flat piece of log that will be our cafe for lunch today. Rangers prove yet again that you can find everything you need right there in the woods. We found this beautiful log with a gorgeous view. All we needed to do is pick up a couple of stumps, put a little flat stump on top and voila, we have a table with the most luxurious lunch that you could possibly find. Right here we have tortillas with uh, lunch meat, lunch cheese of, of whatever choice. We have always napkins next to it to wipe your hands clean before and after. We have sweet tea that, that gets only better as it gets jolted in the backpack. That is the only way to have sweet tea out in the wilderness. We found a sort of a shooting site here. Doesn't look like a whole lot of shells, but we'll count it up by the end we're done. At this point, we're not certain where the target is. It could be far, farther down this road. It's definitely not, not this log. We already checked that, there's nothing around it. We did find a pile of, um, looks like a rain jacket or something that might've been used as a target. 
If that's the case, the target was literally 20 feet away. Not much of a challenge. We'll keep looking around. For the trees, there's cable. But for everyone else, there is direct TV. This is the longest cable we found so far. It starts back there at the loop and it keeps going and going and still going. And the lead ranger is trying to find the other end of it. Way back there. It's still going. In search of the end of the orange tree cable, we found something more interesting. Happy birthday to me, got your trash from the tree, your balloon killed a bunny, next time don't set it free. Well, we found this beautiful lunch log. In a sunny, hot day, this would be perfect. It's nice and shaded, it's lovely, there's the sound of a creek behind us. The problem is somebody decided to use this log for lesser interesting motives. Right here, we have leftovers of a campfire. It's a nasty thing to find. That bottle is half melted, half broken. We'll pick it up in a minute. Keep on going. We have a few shot items lying around. The top of the log looks like it's been rather trashed. We're gonna be spending a few minutes here. And somebody really likes their blue bottles. You can see at the scale, of the log it is huge it is gorgeous and the lead ranger just picked up everything that was behind it still picking up a few shards of whatever was shot in the background so far we've collected about half a dozen bottles that were aimlessly murdered on this log there were two survivors and two or three aluminum cans And now this lunch log is back to its original beauty. We can use it again when we come back for picnics. I'm standing on Tam Tam Road. We just came back on a tiny little offshoot that had two little forks on it. This looks like it might have been a gate at some point and it isn't anymore. Now that it's not a gate, it's obviously very accessible. There's a continuation to Tam Tam Road, so people can be coming from any direction. And the tiny, tiny, tiny little offshoot yielded this much junk. Just because people have access. So as much as we like to have access, drive up to places so we can hike from there, we understand why people landowners lock up their gates. This beautiful view is back to where nature has intended it, considering, of course, all past, past logging. We collected two giant kitchen trash bags, and here's your little trivia. There are six big, whatever many gallon jugs inside of each one of those bags. We got the tire out in the middle of the road, 
hopefully whoever comes here next will have a decency to just pick it up and throw it in the back of their pickup. We'd love to, but it's going to be quite a bit of a run for a mile and a half with a tire and tow. We have another site about that big. We're going to pick it up and then we're going to figure out how to get it off this road to a drivable place where we can load it. We brought this back to the other site where we have a whole bunch of stuff. Hopefully we can fit this inside of two bags and our plan for now is to carry it all the way up the hill to the road. We'll see how that plays out. Right next to the lunch log, we found a treasure trough.
This is the Steel Ranger signing off for the night. We put in eight and a half miles and we spent six and a half hours uh, going around picking up all this stuff. We've had quite a few adventures along the way. What you're seeing here is uh, Lead Ranger counting up part of our bounty. That's just from one of the forks. And the giant bag here is about one third of what we're going to pick up uh, along the road. We have a couple of stops to make to add it all up. And here's your closing view for the day. 17 cans. 17 cans later, lately recorded. Plus another eight that we left at another intersection. We made some money today. The steel mobile will become a tortoise as this pile of trash will all fit into this car. We will take a picture afterwards to see how it works.